All right, so yeah, so this is like the install portion of the how to install components in the Subaru. I mean, you could really start wherever you want. You could change out, uh, you know, the woofer first, or you could do the tweeters first. Um, as you can see over here on that side, I already took out that tweeter and I replaced uh, the woofer. Or you could uh, mount the crossovers and do the crossovers. It really depends on what order you want to do it. It doesn't really matter which order you do it in. Um, but for me, since uh, I am running an amp on mine, on my fronts, um, I went ahead and ran new wire. There's nowhere for me to mount the woofer or the uh, crossovers in the vehicle. So they end up going, uh, they, they're going to end up going right here. So here's one of them right here in this tray because they're so big. Uh, but yeah, for my purposes though, I'm going to go ahead and just start off with the, uh, start off with the woofers. All right, so to take off the door panel, super simple, super simple car. Um, you need, you'll need a Phillips. I just happen to have mine on the Milwaukee Impact. You need a pry tool. Um, this one's skinny enough to where it get behind the door, but you could use uh, the plastic one, it don't really matter. And then a pick tool. The pick tool, you could use a flathead, uh, use your fingernail, use whatever. But to, to take off the door, there's only two. You need to pop off this guy to get to this Phillips. And another one right here. So you just got the two Phillips that hold in the door. And then you have, uh, chill for me, baby. You got uh, poppers all the way around. So boom, boom, done. Put your impact away for a little bit. Screwdriver, whatever. Um, next, you got to take off the door. I like to take off my doors from the inside. Because this one, I'm missing a popper. From I took it off already. And plus, if you take something like this and you put it in here and say, you know, you happen to be bad and you gouge it or whatever, ain't no one going to see it right here. So, you'll be all right. It's easy. I've had my door off many times. Cool. Um, door panel is off. Next, I would take off uh, one, and there's another one right here, one and two. So you don't have to disc it. I mean, you could just take these out if you really wanted to, but then you'd have to hook the ball back in. I just find it easier to take off the whole assembly. Boop. Boop. Door handle come right out, cool. All right, next, you got to take out these. Woo. All right, cool. Oops. All right, cool. So now you got everything disconnected from the panel. Go ahead and set it aside. There's a lot of shit right here. Okay. Should we just turn it around? Let's we'll put it right here with the other stuff. Now you can see this lovely uh, sound deadening job I did. It's what you call a five minute sound deadening job where you don't take anything off and you just kind of throw it all in there. It is what it is, right? I already did it. I ain't don't need I ain't gonna fix it either because I hate doing it. Alright, so now you got the woofer. Alright. And all it is to take him out. One. Two. thing is with Subaru they use all the same uh, bolts so if you I mean screws so if you look at all these they're all pretty much the same some are flat tipped some are pointy tipped but they're all pretty much threaded the same cool so now that what I do is I'll take this because we're not using it I'm not if you are um, black white Cause I mean, what you could do, honestly, is splice these or use a, a harness, connect these 
to the new woofer and then get the get the same color wires on the inside of the kick panel and use that uh, to go to the crossover but since I'm not I ran new wire it's all right here baby but yeah so let me grab the woofer this is the new one going in this is the bracket for the Subaru WRX 15 and up I don't know if they fit other uh, cars that might but yeah, see so it just goes like this and all the holes line up. Actually, 14. Alright, cool. So now we have the wire strip and now it's good to go into the speaker. Okay. So then you just insert it into the uh, you know the proper proper places. So you have the positive and negative. So then get your hole situated. See? All lined up. Then you could take the I don't know what three it was. Probably these three. Sure. Take these three. I wouldn't do uh you know, just kind of do like half or half the threads in one. So, let's kind of do it like so. Then go ahead and hammer them down. See? Boom. So now you have the pad in. You should it should help the uh, the range, the dynamic range of the of the speaker. But that's how you install the woofer. Like I said, I already ran the wire, so this wire goes all the way into the trunk. <clears throat> yeah, and then the next step would be to put everything back on just in reverse order. Oh, and also, make sure you secure the, if you're not going to use this, uh, to secure it. Okay, so next we're going to do the tweeter. Um, actually, in the base WRX, you get the, you get a woofer and quote-unquote tweeter. Um, but it's actually not a tweeter. It's actually a So it's like a normal speaker Is that it? So this is what you actually take out you can see it's not really a tweeter. It's like a normal Like a normal speaker that gets full range, but it's at It says six ohms Which is a lot for a speaker of this size so like it doesn't get like a whole lot of volume, but it helps fill in up there. I'm assuming if you get like the Harden Carden system, the Harman Carden system, um, you actually get tweeters because you'll have an amp that can um, do the crossovers for you, whatever. Um, but so to take out the the tweeter, you just need a pry tool, and you'll need one of these like thumb ratchets. You don't need it; you can use a regular ratchet. I just like this better because it fits in better. But anyway. So all you need to do is be gentle. Pry open this grate. It comes out. As you can see, it slides in. From the the backside slides in, and then these just go down. So it's put in like this. And to take it out, you want to go like this. Make sense? And then you got two screws that you need to take out. Here. Let's do that. See, pull her out, and that is how you remove the quote-unquote tweeter. Don't let me like this. Oh, there we go. All right. So for the new tweeters, as you can, I can't see. You can see the hole. The hole's kind of big. You know, the actual tweeter won't. You know too big and then the mount for it is actually uh, it's almost like the same size as the hole as you can see so what I went ahead and did 
which use ABS plastic make these uh, uh, these little like brackets you could say I mean I'm not gonna lie they look like you know they look like the cheeks but it's gonna it's gonna hold it like this one you could tell this was the first one because I used the Dremel to Dremel out the inside of it and then one of the dudes I work with was like, y'all got a whole sole the same size. Look how clean that circle is, but the outside's still janky, but whatever. What are you going to do? D D I Y at its finest. Um, you don't have to take the tape off. I'm going to because it looks, I'm hoping it looks better without the tape. Holes seem to line up this way. So then, you know the Infinity Cap was actually... Give you a very, very nice mount. So you just do something. Ooh. This actually might be too big. I think that'll uh, work. So then you'll just end up doing this to mount it. So the next, as you can see on the inside, it's little grooves. So you would slip it down, and twist that way, that way. So put these in. Yeah, twist them. All right, didn't work. There you go. So there, we got tweeters. So then next would be to connect this wire to the new wire that I already ran. Which I didn't do yet. So let me do that real quick. So now you will connect the tweeter to this one, these, because uh, this runs back, well, runs back to the crossover and then also because these don't have these spades don't have connect or covers i'll just put tape over them because if they do touch they will uh short said i wish i had the ones with the covers on it but i didn't take those i didn't grab those i grabbed these so then you'll just wrap these up and then what i'll do is kind of wrap them together and then we'll just shove them back in looks like I said it slack didn't really matter as long as it's in the way of you driving so that's how you get the tweeter in and now we make sure the holes line up do if you so he needs to go like do something like that and that's how you install the new tweeter all right so i got cut off last uh, last clip battery died and the memory car got filled but anyway so the easiest way to take out the radio if you haven't seen the, uh, the radio install video just hit it like on the corner okay maybe not lie there you go, it pop. You get a nice little pop. You just pull it out. Push the AC, you take the AC plug out. I mean, all honesty, I mean, that's probably all you really need to do. Unless you don't have amp. If you don't have the amp, um, all your stuff will probably be behind the radio. Then you'll have to take the whole radio out to get to your speaker. Uh, speaker leads but since mine's on this this little brick amp I can just pull it out pull it out like so
and take these. Get out here. It's a mess. Speaker side. Which means I'll probably just take all this out to make it easier. Yeah, so these are the fronts. So I'll need the I'll need these. So I will need these. And then I will need and this is all this input wire that was ran up here. It's it's a lot. It was hard to estimate how much wire I would need for each uh, for each run, so I just ran it all. Like I said, this the uh, new wiring isn't necessary to install the components. Like I said, if you're just doing without the amp, you'll just go to the back of the radio, grab these color wires. For your fronts, you grab the fronts. For the rear, you grab the rears. You'll grab those and wire those up to your uh, your uh, crossover. But yeah, so now I'll just cut. Well, first I should see which wire is which. Okay, so this one says driver side input. This one says passenger. We are on the driver side. This is the wrong wire. Nope, this is the passenger. That was the right wire. Oh, yeah. So I'll just estimate it. So, I mean, something like this. I don't mind leaving stuff a little bit long. Great. All right, cool. So look, I just took the driver's side input. That's ran back to the crossover. Just chopped it. And then to your driver's side is the front left, which is white. So then I will need to disconnect this because this goes to the factory wiring. That I'm not using. Boom. So he's out. I'm not going to just crimp him back. Because you don't want to leave any um, wires uncovered. I right, just don't do it. I think I just, uh, just messed it up. Whatever. I have more. It's fine. All right, I'm just going to go to both. There you go. All right, so I just cut those. I need crimp caps. So you, now we would take the new, because these run to the, the new front speakers. So we'll just twist these together. There's no need to solder them. Because as long as they have contact, they will be good. It's not like they're data wires. There's... Plus, this is what the crimp caps are for. To ensure that these connections stay connected. There's one. And there is two. Boom. Two, and then we'll take two new ones. 
and cover up this wiring. Even though, I mean, this wire is actually doing uh, nothing. It's no power going to it. It's not producing power. It's just a good habit to keep all your uh, open ends either uh, either capped off or uh, you could tape them too. But I have caps, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so that's done. We'd put all that back. Uh, I'm not going to because I still need to do that side. So now we'll just move to the next, uh, the, well, the final step, which would be to um, put everything into the crossover. So right, so this is the crossover that we'll be using for the driver's side. I'm using my the sub as a stool. So here it is, this is the crossover. This is, we need to put, I put my tweeters on low. Um, I'm not sure if I like it high or low. Something I need to try out. Um, we'll be doing two way, we won't be doing three, the three way because we're not using the the M's, which are for mids. Um, so you have your input, woofer, and tweeter. That's everything we just hooked up on the driver's side, which these actually run into. And you can see these are labeled. It's kind of hard to see. This is, I don't know what this is, tweeter, woofer, and then input. Alright, so we'll just do the same thing as we did everywhere else. We'll I can do it. Cut and separate. So you can put them into the right full homes. Like I said, it just this is how I installed them. Because I am amp, so I did run I did have to run new wire. You don't have to run wire. You can use the existing wire if you're just using it uh off of stock or off of uh, radio power. Cool. Now I'm gonna leave the tape and everything on there now. So I know, as long as I know what these two are, I know what this one is. So, so on two way, we have the tweeter set on low. Go ahead and leave it out like this. And now it is to try to test it. So the only speakers that are hooked up will be this one and then those two in the back. So this one should, should be the only one making sound. The only thing unplugged is the AC control, so it's fine to turn on. thing is I will need to swap this out for a uh, bigger amp because these are they're uh, they're being underpowered right now uh, RMS wise they should be pushing around a hundred I think right now it's pushing like half of that like 45 so I'll need to do that but yeah that's how you install the components we install the woofers the tweeters and the crossovers but yeah that's it for this install video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please drop a like uh, leave a comment if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to get back with you as soon as i can thanks for everything peace